Hi, this is Gary Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about managing hypoglycemia with better diet and lifestyle choices. Glucose is the most crucial energy source of the human body. In most of our body cells, glucose is broken down to produce ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy molecule that fuels many of our body's uh, uh, cells processes. Now, glucose is delivered to our cells from the bloodstream. Therefore, we need a steady supply of glucose in the blood to supply energy to function properly. When there is insufficient glucose in the blood, then the person will suffer from hypoglycemia, adversely impacting cell and organ function. People with hypoglycemia often experience uh, fatigue, sweating, shakiness and irritability and sometimes also irregular heartbeats uh, when the condition worsens the person may even lose consciousness and suffer from seizures or end up in coma in really uh, bad conditions now therefore you want to be mindful of any symptoms indicating abnormally low blood sugar levels glucose in the blood either comes from the food that we eat or from the breakdown of glycogen which is the glucose storage molecule um, which is converted into glucose when needed and released into the bloodstream. Now, when the food we eat is digested, glucose is released from it. This glucose is then absorbed by the small intestine and enters the bloodstream. The body cells then take up the glucose from the bloodstream for use as an energy source or to be stored for future use in the liver or fat tissue. Now, when uh, checking blood, blood glucose levels, mild hypoglycemia is defined as having blood uh, glucose levels under uh, 70 mg per deciliter for over 10 minutes. Mild hypoglycemia doesn't require external assistance, but sugar needs to be ingested, consumed uh, pretty quickly. More severe uh, hypoglycemia needs immediate medical attention, of course. Now, those with diabetes are more, most prone to hypoglycemia. However, if you consume a poor diet, consume alcohol regularly, or suffer from an eating disorder, or have problems regulated, regulating glucose metabolism, you may develop hypoglycemia as well. Various medications are available to control hyperglycemia, which is too much blood uh, sugar in the blood. However, these medications are associated with adverse reactions, including hypoglycemia and weight gain and digestive issues, liver toxicity and skin rashes. Overall, blood sugar levels are not well controlled by medications alone, mainly due to poor compliance, uh, uh, taking the medications, inappropriate self-care behaviors, and psychological difficulties, for example, with um, uh, self-administered uh, insulin injections. Now, herbal supplements and dietary changes and lifestyle changes are effective, safe, and also most often convenient. Therefore, these should be considered as the first line of treatment for hypoglycemia and pre in preventing hypoglycemia in the future. Now, here are some ways to prevent hypoglycemic episodes. Number one, you want to reduce or eliminate alcoholic drinks. Drinking alcohol inhibits gluconeogenesis, which is the metabolic pathway which generates glucose in the body. Also, alcohol can prevent the li liver from functioning uh, properly, reducing liver glycogen content, meaning that the storage molecules of glucose will be lacking in the liver. So there is a decrease in blood. Uh, so whenever there is a decrease in blood sugar levels, um, they may drop severely to very low levels, but can't be fixed by the releasing of glycogen um, uh, because the body is deficient in glycogen due to the alcohol consumption. Now, this is especially a problem for people with diabetes at risk of hypoglycemia. The alcohol also remains in the body for many hours af uh, after you drink it and it, it impacts your liver and your blood sugar levels for a long time. Also, alcohol may adversely interact with medications for diabetes. So you definitely want to stop consuming alcohol if you suffer from episodes of hypoglycemia. Also, you want to choose foods with low glycemic index. You want to swap high glycemic foods uh, such as refined carbohydrates and uh, uh, sugar itself with the, uh, to exchange it for foods with low glycemic index op options to promote better uh, blood sugar management. Now, uh, there are favorable, uh, favorable effects of low glycemic index diets on fasting glucose and insulin sensitivity. Therefore, it is found to be very, very useful as a treatment of hypoglycemia. In a decade-long study, 
done in Phoenix, uh, Arizona. Participants on low di on diets with low glycemic index scores showed improvements in markers of blood glucose balance. Now, foods with low glycemic index are include uh, green vegetables, almost all vegetables, but green vegetables, all legumes, all whole grains as well. Now, surprisingly, most fruits are low on the glycemic index scale. Honey is uh, high in, on the glycemic index scale, as is maple. Um, which are used as sweeteners so these should be avoided as well um, you can use stevia as a sweetener real stevia leaves as a sweetener instead this is the best option for people who suffer from hypoglycemia also you want to eat smaller meals or snacks throughout the day skipping meals is very harmful to people prone to hypoglycemia but it's also problematic as you tend to get very hungry between meals. Therefore, if you are at a high risk for the hypoglycemia, it is better to eat smaller meals every, even every three hours. Um, much better than consuming three large meals a day. So if you're too busy to plan and prepare small meals every four hours, practice smart, smart set snacking. According to research, healthy snacking habits can regulate uh, blood glucose levels and in improve glycemic in, uh, control. Now, snacks that are low in glycemic index include bananas, apples, green apples, especially oranges. Um, of course, all vegetable sticks are great. Um, whole grain crackers with natural peanut butter. If you're not allergic to peanuts, if you are, then then um, you can use um, almond butter. Apple sauce is uh, not the best option, but fresh vegetables uh, are great with tahina or hummus. Um, berries are a great option as snacks. Overall, nuts and seeds are great as snacks as well. Overall, you want to eat small meals like a sandwich uh, with whole grain bread and, um, for example, hummus on top or, or some kind of topping that is um, made from legumes is the best. Uh, to keep your blood sugar stable. Now, food combining is also very important since carbohydrate-rich foods uh, will affect the blood glucose levels the most. So consuming various foods with different glycemic indices uh, at the same meal can help control hypoglycemia. For example, consuming a, a meal that is rich in fiber from whole grains or potatoes along with a protein source, uh, as I mentioned, legumes or seeds has been shown to reduce both daytime and nighttime hypoglycemia. On the other hand, consuming foods with a high uh, glycemic index such as refined carbohydrates along with fats um, has been shown to actually increase daytime hypoglycemia. So you, you can also supplement. There are uh, two supplements that you may uh, be interested in taking. The first one is cinnamon. Cinnamon has been clinically studied showing strong scientific evidence supporting uh, the prevention of hypoglycemic activity, especially in people with type 2 diabetes. However, uh, it, this was not found to be effective with people suffering from type 1 diabetes and also uh, there was a study that showed that postmenopausal type 2 diabetic patients did not um, benefit as much. Now fenugreek uh, has been really shown um, uh, to help lower fasting blood sugar levels or um, the glycated hemoglobin which is uh, the ABA1C uh, levels in diabetic patients. This is the marker of showing um, diabetes. The best results were shown with daily supplementation of 15 grams of fenugreek soaked in water or 100 grams of fenugreek seed powder. Also, uh, 5 grams of natural fenugreek was also an option. These were the best uh, ways to take the fenugreek uh, and it really shows that fenugreek helps regulate blood sugar levels but it doesn't lower blood sugar levels in healthy and obese patients. So that's the only um, issue there with fenugreek uh, and the research studies. Now, the takeaway is to lower or, uh, your risk for hypoglycemia and all of its effects on your health, you want to minimize alcohol consumption and the consumption of high uh, glycemic index foods that may disrupt healthy uh, blood sugar levels. If you also practice good snacking, regular snacking, and food combining habits throughout the day, then you can prevent hypoglycemia because severe hypoglycemia can be life-threatening. Uh, it's still it's very crucial to monitor still your blood sugar levels and to do as best as you can to prevent hypoglycemic episodes, which are not only very uncomfortable, 
but are also um, very uh, problematic to your health and your total overall body functioning. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining me.